Hey fellow world dwellers, it's Angry Turtle and finally I have for you some good news from public test server. The new armor set, the civil engineer armor set received, a, received a, I would say not a little bit, quite significant buff. It is a unique armor now, quite usable as well. You can see it here, I'm wearing it, including the new civil engineer under armor. So look, I think it's good. It does look good. I do have my shell, but yeah, it comes with a jetpack. I mean, jetpack is possible, it doesn't automatically come with it. You need to buy a plan like for everything. But now, what's new? I crafted this set. It's an yielding. And the important part is the set bonus change. So it's like a double bonus now. You have 10% chance to do 150 fire damage to melee attackers. So it is more than they gave us early. It's still not enough to do much to high end enemies, high level enemies, but it can help in the forest area with really annoying small enemies. I will show you in a second. Then we have weapons break 35% slower. It's not as good as gunsmith. For comparison, gunsmith is 50%, but you can have both. Or you can just skip gunsmith perk if you normally use it and your weapons will last longer, so it is pretty much usable amount of extra bonuses. So the set bonus is better now. You can see my armor fully modified at this moment, all the pieces. So 73, 120, 86, this is the resistance on the torso, and that's of course the highest. Then for limbs, uh, don't look at fire resist. Fire resist is from my legendary effect. It's 37, 61, 43. And one difference, I don't know for what reason. It's probably a bug, but still the right leg has different resistance. Like it's it's higher than, than, than the left leg. Probably shouldn't be as all other limbs are 37, 61, 43 with full modifications, so it is not as good as Secret Service, but now, with this added set bonus, it may be worth it. It may be worth it. About Under Armour... Uh, where is this Under Armour? Who's here? Oh, there it is. S uh, shielded Civil Engineer Under Armour. It's not the best stat-wise. It does provide 2 strength, 1 perception, 2 endurance. The unique thing about it is 5 fire resistance, but I don't think it will be enough to replace my shielded secret service that provides 424 to special and way higher resistance for ballistic energy and radiation. The difference is there is no fire resist, but yeah, that's the new armor. Now, where you can use it, there is a situation where you can use it if you encounter like annoying low level Morats. I just happen to have some pieces with poison damage, so it will be either poison or fire. Hopefully you will be able to see fire triggering. Come on Morats, I'm waiting for you. Please try to bite me. There we have a Morat attempting to bite. One thing I don't like, it's a chance to trigger, so they need to keep biting you. This Morat just gave up. Okay, they're back. Three Morats. Can we get the fire effect, please? Oh, there it is. The fire and Morat is dead. So you can see it is enough to kill a Morat. The fire does the damage. Unfortunately, if we face higher level enemies, it will not be the same. Let me show you. Here we have some mid-level ghouls, so not super hard, not super soft. We'll see. That's the poison. We have two pieces with poison damage, so you can see poison in effect. There is fire. So fire is better, definitely better than two pieces of poison. And this level 60, which is relatively weak ghoul, is taking quite significant amount of fire damage. It will eventually kill it, but keep in mind that level 60 way softer than level 75. There is huge difference between level 75 charge 
Feral Ghoul and regular level 60 generous Feral Ghoul. The difference is huge, but you can see the damage is there and eventually it can kill the weaker ghouls, so that's as far as it goes, ability to kill. It's nowhere near the efficiency of Torn Armor set. Torn Armor would be doing much better in this situation, killing those ghouls way faster. So you can see the level 60, yeah, they suffer, but here level 75, you can barely notice that the fire damage that he's even on fire, like the fire damage, poison damage, he's currently taking both and with both, yeah, that's all you can expect. For comparison, the amount of poison damage, I have two pieces with 12 poison per second for four seconds, so two pieces, that's 24 per second over four seconds, so close to 100 poison damage. Fire damage, I have more, so that's better and chance is higher. So generally, this can be used versus low level enemies, so at 150 fire damage is just enough to kill weak enemies. Unfortunately, that's all. Weak enemies. But now, when it's paired with this extra weapon break slower, this armor is now usable, I would say. It's very usable. And I'm down. If you wonder what's the comparison with Secret Service, for example, chest piece, Secret Service chest piece 115, 85, 85. Here 73, 120, 86. So Secret Service is clearly better, but now after the changes, the difference is not so huge anymore. The difference is not so huge. Civil Engineer, is it the best after the next update? It's dropping at the end of March, or it is not? You will tell me, is it something that convinced you to change your set? The fact that you can do fire damage to melee attackers and on top of that, your weapons will break, break slower. Is that something that will convince you? Let me know. And if you wonder how you will unlock the armor, the armor you will unlock from the new quest line, the modifications you will purchase with stamps. And this armor is currently tradable so i can drop a piece which means at least at this moment it can be sold and traded with other players what what is kind of unexpected as all other end game armor pieces are not this one is tradable even with a jetpack already attached is it planned or not i cannot really tell 100 percent if it's intended but that's how it is at this moment and that being said Thank you all for watching and see you all in the next one.